Time's Up charity set up by celebrities as part of Me Too movement spent $1.4 million on salaries, including $157,000 on conferences at luxury resorts. All right, this is a, an article from Daily Mail. I'm going to go ahead and read through this and make commentary on it, and then at the end I'll give my final thoughts. But first, if you like my content, please consider subscribing, drop a like on my video, and share it on social media. Also, I have found out that YouTube's algorithm punishes creators that get short watch times on their videos. So if you can, please stick around to the very end. If you're a person who does not like my videos well enough to stick around to the very end, please go down in the comments and tell me what I can do to improve them. I make videos challenging the woke agenda that has been spoon-fed to us for the last several years. I'll also make videos challenging anything else that I find that doesn't make any sense to me. So thanks for watching. Now on to the video. Back to this article here. We have tax filings reveal... Time's Up organization raised $3,670,219 in 2018 in its first year of operation and spent $1.407 million on salaries and $312,000 on helping victims. That's only $312,000. A lot more was spent on, um, on the salaries. Documents reveal the organization spent more than 157000 on luxury retreats. Almost $1 million was spent on legal costs and 288000 on advertising. The separate legal defense fund claims to have helped 3,000 women during the first six months of 2018 at a cost of $1.7 million using money coming from donations, but most of the fund money came from grants made to Women's Law Center, while just 132000 came from the Time's Up Foundation. Time's Up now, the charity's lobbying end handed over 179000 to the fund. So these numbers are kind of all over the place. Time's Up organization set up to fight harassment in the workplace in the wake of hashtag MeToo movement spent the bulk of its donations on executive salaries and only a fraction on legal costs to help victims in its first year record show. Tax filings show that the organization, which was founded by Hollywood celebrities and is made up from the Time's Up Foundation and Time's Up Now Inc., raised $3,670,000 in 2018, the first year of its operation. However, less than 10% was spent on helping those women who have experienced harassment. Filings show 312000 was spent on Legal Defense Fund, while $1.47 million was spent on salaries, and more than 157000 was spent on conferences and luxury resorts, and a further 58000 was spent on travel. The organization brought in Hollywood heavyweights during the early days of its operation, with Reese Witherspoon, Amy Schumer, and Brie Larson holding positions on its board. All right, here you can see a breakdown of where the money went. Time's Up is a movement against harassment and was founded in, on January 1st, 2018 by Hollywood celebrities in response to the Weinstein effect and a Me Too movement. You know, I'm wondering, do, do they actually give any of this money to men who have been harassed? Does that happen? Or is it only women who get this money? I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's only women because, you know, only women struggle with anything in the world ever. Men never struggle with all at all with anything. Men never lose their jobs over bogus claims or anything. It's just, you got these, these women here who think that they're God's gift to, to men because they've gotten into these positions where all it focuses on them. And they're, I mean, Brie Larson is nothing spectacular. Really, Reese Witherspoon has gotten really unattractive in her older age. I don't know who this whale is in the middle here. The tax filings detail the mission of Times Up now as as being to promote safe, fair, and dignified work for women of all kinds. Right, so it's not doesn't help men at all. We work to make sure that women are free from harassment and other forms of discrimination on the job, have equal opportunity for economic security and can achieve the highest positions of power wherever they work. Okay, first off, it's illegal. It is illegal to discriminate against women. It's illegal to discriminate against men. You can't discriminate on the job. It's very, very easy. If you have proof, just go, hey, look, they're discriminating against me. You go to the labor board. 
of your state, and you say they're discriminating against me, and then a, a case is opened up, an investigation is done, and they will determine whether or not you are actually being discriminated against, and they will look at all of the factors. So if there's no reason for you to be discriminated against other than your gender, then hey, guess what? There's a huge fine, plus you get all your back pay. So that's not an issue. You have equal opportunity for economic security. Why women, I've never known a woman to be unemployed. Every woman I've ever known is like, I'm gonna go get a job and they go get, and get a job. All right, uh, you can achieve the highest positions of power wherever they work. Well, again, that would be fall under the umbrella of discrimination. Women, you know, as long as you qualify for the job, you should be promoted into that job. According to the Post, Huge amounts were spent on executive salaries instead of legal support, yeah? Well, what did you expect was going to happen? Did you think that this was this was actually about women being harassed? What in your mind made you believe that that was what was happening? Because it's not happening. It happens in Hollywood because women don't stand up for themselves, and I'll get into that later. But in the regular world, this is not happening because we all know that it's illegal and immoral. And I mean real harassment. I don't mean going, hey, you want to grab a cup of coffee after work? That's not harassment. Even if you ask at every single day, it's not harassment. Lisa Borders was recruited to head Time's Up, but only spent four months at the organization after her 36 years old son was accused of, hey, what do you know? Misconduct of a intimate nature. Not surprising that a woman who... Uh, was the head of this this board that is discriminatory against men has a son who is engaging in misconduct with women. Nevertheless, the CEO managed to pull in three hundred and forty-two thousand for her salary in four months. Four months, she made three hundred and forty-two thousand three hundred and eight dollars for herself. <sighs> the chief marketing officer Rachel Terrace drew a salary of. 295000 for her efforts during the organization's first year. The treasurer, Rebecca Goldman, drew, drew a salary of 255000 See who are these people? This is Lisa Borders right here. Yeah, she looks really creepy to me. She looks like the kind of person who would stab you in the back just because you were standing in front of her. Her son was being inappropriate. And the other one is Rachel Terrace, who is the marketing officer, chief marketing officer. Tax filings detail how 3,000 individuals were helped by the Times Up Legal Defense Fund between January and June of 2018 at a cost of $1,747,000. But most of the defense fund money came from grants that had been made to the Women's Law Center, according to the New York Post. Aside from executive compensation, tax filings show that Times Up Now, which is the lobbying arm of the organization, was noted to have spent... 157000 on conferences designed to build community and spark critical conversations about gender equity, according to The Post. The conference includes a retreat at a luxury resort and spa in Ohio, Southern California, in June 2018, from where a room for the night cost upwards of $400. He said a night twice, idiot. Despite having been in existence six months, those at the conference struggle to decide what the organization's mission statement should be, according to one attendee who spoke to the New York Post. It later changed from let's clean up Hollywood to we're going to help all workers. Aside from the pricey conferences at country retreats, the organization details in its tax filings, how it spent 288000 on advertising and 940000 on legal costs. The huge chunk of that, 719000 went to Arnold and Porter K. Scholler, a law firm that frequently lobbies on Capitol Hill. Oh, you're supporting lobbyists. See, that's why you're spending all this money. You have to have your luxury resorts, where you're spending 157000 on on these luxury resorts, which you don't need to even you know, have a conference in a abandoned warehouse. It doesn't matter. You're supporting lobbyists. Yeah, you're disgusting human beings. Lobbying is evil. The total of 112,000 was given to Raleigh, a public relations company, according to tax findings. Safe, fair, and dignified work for women of all kinds. What about what about men? I mean, this is all about how men are evil. 
That's what the, this Me Too movement is all about. See, it doesn't say anything in here about people. It says women, only women. Men already get safe, fair, and dignified work. That you know, That's just a given. Any man can walk out and get safe, fair, and dignified work. If he wants it, it's fine. It's easy for him. No, that's not true at all. I've been discriminated against at work. It's disgusting. The organization has responded to allegations over how money ha was spent in a statement. Time's Up has responded to dailymail.com and provided a lengthy statement regarding the allegations from Amanda Harrington, vice president of communications of Time's Up Now and the Time's Up Foundation. Time's Up emerged in 2018 from an international movement of reckoning when women across industries and geographies came together and decided to turn their pain about workplace abuse into action and address systemic inequality. Our first and largest initiative was the Time's Up Legal Defense Fund, a groundbreaking legal advocacy program. Time's Up now raised millions of dollars for the Time's Up Legal Defense Fund by directing people to GoFundMe page and to make significant pledges in 2018, all of which went directly to the program, which has been housed and administered at the National Women's Law Center Fund LLC from the beginning in order to jumpstart direct support for survivors in need as quickly as possible. Yeah, it was, it was, it was just so terrible that the man that you work with asked you to have coffee with him after work. Now, there are legitimate cases where women are mistreated at work. There are legitimate cases where men are mistreated at work. I, but that's very much just go to the police and say, hey, look, this is what happened. Go to the labor board and say, hey, look, this is what happened. You don't need to have extra funding for this. It's already built into our tax system. Already, the Times of Legal Defense Fund has provided legal resources about harassment at work of over 5,000 people, three quarters of whom identify as low-paid workers in addition the Times Up Legal Defense Fund has committed $11 million in direct legal and public relations support for survivors. While most of the Times Up Legal Defense Fund back cases are ongoing, 86% of the cases that have been resolved have been resolved in favor of the workers the Times Up Legal Defense Fund supported. Recognizing that abuses of power like harassment are only possible in workplaces that are fundamentally unequal. No, that's not true. We also formed the nonprofit organizations Time's Up Now and Time's Up Foundation to advocate for systemic change across all industries. <sighs> industries already are equal. And just because you experience this type of harassment doesn't mean that the workplace is fundamentally unequal, especially when you say, hey, look, this man looked at me and that's that's immoral and he needs to be punished for it. That's harassment. Uh, I knew an older gentleman... This was over 20 years ago this happened. I heard this story. There's a young woman who worked in his office, and she worked basically in his line of sight. And she was a very attractive young woman. And then one day he said, you know, you look, you're, you're a very attractive young woman. You just want to give her a compliment. And she went to HR and said, hey, you know what? That's harassment. And he got in big trouble for it. And now I had a client at one point in time who worked for the county office here in California where I live. And... There was a man there who went to one of the women and he said, you know, you have really nice legs. I want to give you a compliment on your legs. You're very attractive. And he went to another young woman and he said the same thing to her. And she went to HR. The second woman went to HR and said, hey, you know what? This is harassment. And it's like, you can't even, you can't give somebody a compliment. I mean, I understand where the workplace is not for that. I get that. But so what? Get over it. Nobody's trying to hurt you because they give you a compliment on your looks. It's ridiculous. Because 2018 was a startup year for these organizations, it follows that our 2018 expenses were mostly related to our startup costs, such as legal costs and recruiting staff that would establish initiatives that would be launched in 2019, such as Time's Up Now successful push for Time's Up Safety Agenda in New York. Time's Up Foundation's Research and Policy Division, the Time's Up Impact Lab, and our Who's in the Room Mentorship Program, among others. The nonprofit sector like many women dominated fields has long grappled with undercompensation of professional employees and staff our compensation and benefit structure are competitive both to reflect our commitment to the values of fair and equal pay and to attract and retain the very best talent to work to address some of the toughest most entrenched barriers to gender equity 
this statement reads, okay, you're a nonprofit. You don't have salaries to pay. That's what nonprofit's all about. You're not supposed to be making money. And I know a lot of nonprofits, the, the executive officers of these nonprofits make a lot of money. You're not supposed to be though. You're supposed to be not profiting off of this. That's why it's called a nonprofit. But uh, the laws have changed and people take advantage of it now. So almost $1, billion, uh, almost $1 million was spent on legal fees to the global law firm with a strong lobbying arm on Capitol Hill. Well, the further 100,000 were paid to a public relations firm. Yeah, didn't do a very good job of keeping your public relations secret, now did they? Time's Up, which is based in California, was formed in the wake of the Harvey Weinstein scandal in 2017, which saw famous names, including Oprah Winfrey, speak out alongside journalists and activists Gloria Steinem and actress Jessica Chastain, Rose Arquette, and, and Myra Sorvino. Sorvino, who now sits on Time's Up Global Leadership Board, detailed how Weinstein harassed her in a hotel in 1995. She helped spark the Me Too movement along with actress Alyssa Milano, who tweeted and urged women to speak up if they had been sexually assaulted. Well, yeah, you should be. If you've been assaulted at all, period, you should always go to the police, period. You just go to the police. That's it. doesn't matter what kind of assault it is. You should go to the police. Uh, this is Jessica Chastain on the left and Myra Sorvino. And this is Alyssa Milano, if you don't recognize her. she's She uh, called the police recently on a young man having a pellet gun, I believe, in her neighborhood. They said it was a terrorist act or something. So the police had to show up. And Alyssa Milano, she says, if you've been harassed or assaulted, write Me Too as a reply to this tweet. Me Too. Suggested by a friend, if all the women who have been harassed or assaulted wrote Me Too as a status, we might give people a sense of the magnitude of the problem. The, no, you wouldn't, because the issue is harassment can be considered just saying, hey, you have nice legs. That's not harassment. Harassment can be considered just, just talking, just we just saying hello. hello. Don't f say hello to me, bitch. Don't f say hello. I don't play that sexual harassment shit. Let me get your address. What do you mean sexual harassment? Say bitch, don't f say hi to strange women you don't know, what? bitch. Just giving a comical fake name is now considered harassment. Humongous. Humongous what? Humongous. Humongous what? That's what it is. Humongous what? Is that sexual harassment? No, it's humongous. Then why did you say that to That's me? That's my name. What? Humongous what? But no. These people want to say, hey, look, all women are victims. All women are just victims of men. Men are just evil, bad people, and all women are victims of them. <sighs> Meanwhile, Oprah. Oh, yes, let's talk about Oprah, how she's racist and sexist. That's a good thing. I mean, she detests white people and she detests men. So why were we listening to what Oprah has to say? But anyway, meanwhile, Oprah's rallying cry at the Golden Globes in January 2018 saw her make an impassioned speech from which the Time's Up name was conjured. It led to thousands of women sharing details of the times they had been assaulted. Yeah, assault is terrible, and you should not have to go through that. Nobody should, no man or no woman. And by the way, more men are assaulted in this manner than women are, if you include the prison population, which, I mean, that's still men, right? That's still men being assaulted like that. You can't go, well, they're, they're criminals, they deserve it. No, because some people are falsely imprisoned. And even if you are in prison for a crime that you committed, do you deserve to have a crime committed upon you? especially one as heinous as this. Yeah, you know, it's it's terrible. It's a terrible, heinous crime. It, should never even, it shouldn't even be a concept in human beings. They shouldn't understand that this is a thing that can happen. It's so disgusting. But it does happen, and it should be addressed. But this is a witch hunt. This Me Too movement is a witch hunt. This is the statement that Time's Up made. Recognizing that abuse, is, abuse of power is only possible. Yeah, we've already read all this, this statement here. And here we go. We got... Uh, Oprah Reese Witherspoon and Mindy Colling discussing change for women. So, my thoughts on this are very simple. It shouldn't happen. It's illegal. We already know this. If, if you're offering somebody a job for favors of this nature, that's illegal. There's never been a time in history, well, maybe not, never been a time in recent history, when it has been legal. And this is happening in Hollywood and women are being, you know, being viewed as objects and being objectified in Hollywood. Well, this is the nature of their job, typically, a lot of these women. 
this is what sparked this these women being like told they you know needed to give these favors to men in positions of power to get more power in their career well just say no and walk away if all women if all women did what they were supposed to do and say no i'm not going to do that for money or for position or for fame or for fortune or for power or anything i don't do that for that i do that for one reason and one reason only and that reason is love then the casting couch would not exist because you have to have women in movies and if all of you did the right thing and stood up for yourselves and said no i'm not going to do that i have a soul and i'm not going to tarnish it by doing that with you then what would they do? They'd be like, okay, well, we got to put women in movies. We have to have women in movies, and none of them want to do this thing to get into the movies. So I guess I'm, you know, we're just going to have to hire them based on merits, based on whether or not they're right for the part. It's very, very simple. Do the right thing, and this all goes away. If everybody involved just does the right thing. I mean, men are not innocent in this. Obviously, the men who are, who are doing this say, hey, if you do this for me, I'll do this for you. Yeah, that's wrong to do that. But women are also culpable in this, too by saying, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll agree to do that with you if you give me this job, if you can guarantee that I get this position, if I become a famous starlet. Yeah, no, forget that. I, I would rather be poor living on the streets than tarnish my humanity by doing these things. Live with, live with integrity and all these problems all of a sudden go away. We can focus on real issues like, I don't know, making sure that the human race can exist into the future because the way it's, we're going, burning down our cities now, we don't have very many years left. When it comes to these charitable donations, just think about it. These people aren't going to work against their powerful friends and colleagues in Hollywood. No, they're taking advantage of people's outrage at this situation. A lot of people believe, oh, women are victims, and they're not. They're just not. So when a nonprofit is set up to challenge something which is already illegal, look very closely at that nonprofit before you give it any kind of money at all. So thanks for watching. That's all I got for this time. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. We've got to beat the algorithm, so share my videos with as many people as possible. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.